humans have managed to accomplish a lot in a relatively short amount of time. We've already sent humans to live in space, and we've developed massive and very sophisticated telescopes, and now space agencies are looking at sending people to Mars, and this could happen within the next few years. Many organisations decided to take it a step further. The European Space Agency, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence and NASA have been working very hard to find out if we're completely alone. Today we have a big number of projects that are made to scan the stars for signals of intelligent life. Something researchers are intrigued by is Saturn's moon Enceladus. It's been put forward that this moon may be able to support life. This claim comes after researchers suggested that this ocean is over 1 billion years old, further saying this is a sweet spot. NASA reported at the 2019 Astrobiology Science Conference that that time frame is long enough for there to be life. One of the research scientists said the following, In the scenario that best matches the real moons, the oceans of Enceladus is about a billion years old. That's good news for life. It should have had long enough to arise, and there still should be some energy to power it. Cassini was a spacecraft who arrived in the Saturn system back in 2001. It made 127 flybys of Titan and 23 flybys of Enceladus. The Cassini mission ended on September 15th, 2017, due to the loss of contact. After making these flybys though, Cassini gave researchers an incredible insight into how the moon is doing. It's not the airless icy body as was previously assumed. The detection of the thermal infrared and the four target stripe fractures means that Enceladus heats up from the inside out. It's believed the friction caused by the gravitational forces of Saturn has been affecting the heating of Enceladus. On our planet's hydrothermal vents are filled with organisms we cannot see anywhere else, with some scientists saying there's whole new worlds in these vents that many of us have never seen before. This could be what's happening on Enceladus. Researchers have said there is evidence of hydrothermal vents on the sea floor of Enceladus. Hydrothermal vents usually form at locations where magma and seawater meet. Water runs down the cracks right into the core, where it's heated and then comes back out again. Just like Europa, Enceladus is also believed to have a global ocean found under its icy surface. All of the data collected related to Enceladus points to the fact that it really does have the three ingredients required for life. It seems that scientists are one step closer to finding life in our very own solar system. Our solar system is tiny when compared to the rest of the universe, and it makes you wonder what else could be out there. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.